Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. We are the Bourbon Brothers. My name is Gavin. And I'm Jeff. And today we are drinking Southern Rye Whiskey from 13th Colony Distilleries. Yeah, so these guys are uh, one of the uh, few bourbon producers, bourbon uh, distilleries in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, we are given the rye a review here today. We previously also reviewed the, the bourbon that they make. Um, the one thing I'll highlight with, with these guys is the, the distinct bottle shape, yes. similar to the old Forrester uh, birthday bourbon. Uh, not quite as, as rounded off, but quite similar bottle, I think, because, you know, we were talking earlier, uh, maybe harkens back to, you know, the good old days with the, you know, the jug of whiskey and right. uh, what have you. But uh, anyways, we're, uh, you know, going to give this, uh, this rye here a review today. The label isn't particularly um, enlightening on much, whether it's the age, the, the mash bill, the confusing uh, buzzwords, etc. So uh, we're going to, you know, just uh, do the thing here, see what we think, and I'll let you guys know. Yes, Jeff, let's do the thing. We'll start with the nose and jump right into the taste. Tastes like mint. Yeah, a good bit of uh, mintiness, some herbalness in there. Um, not getting much on the on the rye spice, baking spice spectrum. It's it's pretty, not on the nose. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The nose pretty minty, pretty pretty herbally. It's a little bit of dill. Yeah, you know, pretty consistent with what we would imagine the MGP profile to be as far as their rye. Yeah, but we shall see. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Take a taste. Cheers. Cheers. A lot of yeah. herbalness there, a lot of mintiness there. Very much so, you know, uh, pine flavors, uh, a little bit of like spearmint even on the palate. Yeah, throw some dill in there while we're at it. Yeah. Um, there's definitely, I think, some black pepper in there. Uh, a little bit of kick. A little bit of kick to it uh, on the back end. But uh, fairly, fairly one dimensional rye. Yeah, you know, if you're a rye lover, this is definitely highlights some of those characteristics that a one-dimensional whiskey could offer. Very minty, you know, I've, I'm on a pine cake as of late, so it's a nice flavor, um, albeit narrow, you know, the profile. But, um, you know, it's thin, it's 95 proof, so not very, not very hot, hot enough to kind of keep coming back for a little bit more. Um, you know, it's gotta be a sourced whiskey. We think it's MGP, or at least a part of it, you know, whether that's a blend or not. Um, you know, when they don't have a lot of information on the, lead, on the label, it just kind of forces us to guess. So that's what we're doing with this, but. Yeah, I think the profile is consistent with other MGP type products that we've had. Absolutely. Um, but you know, there's kind of a variety of ages, um, variety of proofs. So, you know, they're all a little bit different. So Jeff, 13 colonies distilleries, southern rye whiskey. What are the Bourbon Brothers going to rate this? Uh, it's going to get a C from the Bourbon Brothers. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Um, I think the notes that it does, there is some depth, but it's, it's, depth, it's a very narrow depth. It's, you know, all that minty, herbally, spearmint, piney, sort of very narrow uh, flavor profile. Yeah. And if we're playing tiki tacky, there's a little bit of fruit there. You know, but uh, it's mainly just that overwhelming mint, uh, mint note. So, you know, it's decent. Um, I think the bourbon, we, we gave a B, so a little bit higher on the bourbon, but um, the rye's decent. So that's it. That's all we have for you for the Southern Rye Whiskey. We are the Bourbon Brothers. We hope you enjoyed the video. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Bourbon Beer Reviews. We'll tell you what and what not to drink. Cheers. Cheers.